This is it. Shining Time Station. What do you think? Coming this January, children all across America will be invited into the exciting world of Shining Time Station. It's a place that's filled with the kinds of things kids love best. Stories, animation, music, creative play, and just plain fun. Someone wants to tell you something. Well, what is it? Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! <laughs> Shining Time Station is an enchanted stop on the mythical Indian Valley Railroad, and it's home to the Shining Time family, including Station Master Stacy Jones, her nephew Matt, Harry the Engineer, his granddaughter Tanya, a lovable rogue named Schemer, and Mr. Conductor, a tiny traveling man with some very special magical powers. They're joined by Thomas the Tank Engine, an animated character who was already a major star in English television. Each weekly episode of Shining Time Station presents an entertaining adventure in the characters' lives, and at the same time, each storyline reflects a social theme that's important to children like making new friends, learning from mistakes, overcoming fears, and accepting differences in others. It's the difference in people that we like. That's what makes life exciting. If everybody was the same, why, it would be like, like looking in a mirror. And that's only interesting for about two minutes. Mm -hmm. Even if you are making funny faces. <laughs> I guess so. Okay, listen. She is entitled to be herself, as you are entitled to be yourself. That's what fairness is all about. In the world of Shining Time Station, there is always a strong sense of family. The family at the station house and the viewing family at home. Hey, uh, kids, uh, I got a surprise for you. Why don't you uh, come a little closer here now? Come on, that's the idea. Come a little bit uh, closer. There you go, a little bit closer to me. All right, now I want you to uh, sniff this flower. Ready? One, two, three, sniff. Oh! <laughs> what is that? Ah, I'm all wet. That was, that is what I call not funny. <laughs> I don't think I like these practical jokes. I am not the kind of person that people are supposed to be laughing at. Oh, well, maybe nobody is, Schemer. Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah, see, kids, even Schemer can learn a lesson. There are two sides to every joke. While targeted to four to seven-year-olds, Shining Time Station is a series that's been created for the entire family with each episode designed to encourage parents to watch with their children. Mr. Conductor, how can Schemer make such a big mistake and still be like he always is? He's not sorry or anything. Well, he may not have learned anything, but you have learned about helping people. And Gordon has learned the same thing. Lucky thing for Thomas that he did too. But let me begin at the beginning. The storylines and themes of Shining Time Station are reinforced by the animated adventures of Thomas the Tank Engine and friends. There are two Thomas episodes in each week's program. Next morning, Thomas's driver and fireman came early and worked hard to mend the snowplow, but they couldn't make it fit. Thomas was pleased. I shan't have to wear it. I shan't have to wear it, he puffed to Annie and Clarabel. But they were rather worried. I hope it's all right. I hope it's all right, they whispered to each other. The driver was worried too. It's not bad here, he said to the fireman, but it's sure to be deep in the valley. Silly soft stuff, puffed Thomas. I didn't need that stupid old thing yesterday, and I shan't today. Snow can't stop me. He rushed into a tunnel thinking how clever he was, but there was trouble ahead. Cinders and ashes, said Thomas. I am stuck. And he was. Back, Thomas. Back, said his driver. Thomas tried, but his wheels spun and he couldn't move. The guard went back for help while everyone else tried to dig the snow away. But as fast as they dug, more snow slipped down until Thomas was nearly buried. Oh, my wheels and coupling rods. I shall have to stop here till I'm frozen. What a silly engine I am. And Thomas began to cry.
At last, a bus came to rescue the passengers. And then, who should come to Thomas's rescue but Terence? Snow never worries him. He pulled the empty coaches away, then came back for Thomas. Thomas's wheels were clear, but still spun when he tried to move. Terence tugged and slipped and slipped and tugged, and at last dragged Thomas clear of the snow, ready for the journey home. As Thomas and his friends meet challenges, make mistakes, and develop friendships, they and the child viewer with them learn much about themselves and others. This is why Thomas and his friends belong in the elite circle of fantasy characters whose appeal is universal. Thank you, Terence. Your caterpillars are splendid, said Thomas. I hope you'll be sensible now, Thomas, said his driver. I'll try, said Thomas. Shining time is no ordinary station. And this is no ordinary jukebox. Inside of it lives a zany group of puppets who perform a wonderful selection of folk and railroad songs with new musical arrangements that will appeal to children of all ages. Oh, oh look, look, it, it's a buffalo nickel, a real buffalo nickel. Since when like, do buffalo have their own money? It's not a buffalo's nickel. It's a nickel with an engraving of a buffalo on it. They stopped making them a long time ago. <laughs> Say, um, why do you think they stopped making them, Tex? Well, Rex, the way I see it, being a buffalo is hard enough without going around making little pictures of each other. And I figure they just got tired of it. Uh. Hey, man, the buffaloes didn't do the engraving. They just had to pose right, just like... Stand real still. I wonder if they got paid for posing. Why, yes, sir. They paid them each a dime. Quiet! Play! A one, a two, a three. Come on, you rounders. I want you to hear the story of a brave engineer. Casey Jones was the rounder's name on the big eight-wheeler of a mighty fame. Casey Jones, he pushed on the throttle. Casey Jones was The station's picture machine is the magical entry to original songs, produced with an extraordinary range of musical, lyrical, and visual styles, which illuminate the theme of the episode in which they appear. He was old, so old, but I'm so wise. He'd say you're only as old as you feel inside. Now I'm getting old as you can see But I'm happy with my grandkids on my knee When they say, hey, tell me about the good old days I think of my friends say Life's like a train keeps running down the track Through the sun and the rain and the magic road When you come to know When you're old so old 
see you're only as old as you feel inside. He was old, so old, but also wise. Yeah, you're only as old as you feel inside. La, 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 la. Shining Time Station is also the stopping off point for a fascinating array of surprise guests. There's just no telling who might arrive on a passing train. From spoon players to balloon makers, from ventriloquists to sculptors. Shining Time Station is a new style of storybook television created to entertain children while supporting their social, artistic, and creative development. The dramatic narrative and integrated elements nurture an appreciation for stories, art, and music that inspires young viewers to tap into their own unique talents and abilities. Train is a coming, train is a coming, train is a coming, oh yeah. Better get your ticket, oh yeah. Better get your ticket, oh yeah. Better get your ticket. Shining Time Station, an exciting new program offering for family viewing, premieres on public television this January. And you're all invited to climb aboard.